This also valuable big toe attached to the left foot of Steve Garvey has been pronounced okay by trainer Gene Gieselman of the St. Louis Cardinals, the superstar's trainer. Don't worry about it, Tommy Lasorda. Ready now for the finals in the swimming competition. And over the years, we've seen the swimming pool, the victor in this particular event so many times. But Reggie, not in this race. We have some great swimmers. There's no question about it. We saw Dwight Stones really put on a great performance here, Frank. A super turn and a nice, smooth, even stroke. When he got out of the pool and he was talking to Bruce Jenner, didn't even seem as though he was breathing heavy. Um, you know, he's the obvious favorite. I would put my money on him. But I like a guy by the name of Dave Casper. And as you mentioned a little bit a, a, bit a while ago, uh, I like Hart. So I'm going to pick him to finish a strong second, possibly push Mr. Stones over there to a record and look out for Mr. Grimnage because we all know that he is the world's ski jump record holder. And so he has been doing a lot of swimming in his life. Bill Russell, there's a guy in this race that breathes the atmosphere up there where you do, Ben Davidson. Uh, what's his chances? Oh, he has a good chance. He also has a good chance of getting struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> but not in this race. <laughs> in other words, you don't like him in this particular event. Not in this race at all. I like the way you beat around the bush. Okay, swimming final coming up. Now it's 100 yards, four lengths of this pool. And it is oh so torturous. Mark Van Egan will be in lane number one. Now he was surprising in his qualifying heat. Surprised all of us. Dave Casper is in lane number two. You like him, Reggie. Yes, I do, Frank. He doesn't have great form, but he has what it takes to be a great athlete, character and determination. And Reggie, the man they all fear, Dwight Stones, and he is very confident. He has just about predicted the victor in this. And Wayne Grimditch, he could push Dwight Stones. He is a competitive little man. Big Ben Davidson, he'll leave a big wake. We don't know how he'll do. But he, too, is competitive. <laughs> and some of the Wayne Grimditch fan club is in mass here at the pool by the Princess Hotel. Ready for the start. A good start, and Dwight Stones is way out there. Oh, and Dwight Stones has the lead already, Reg. Well, he's got a great racing dive, Frank, and we see if we take notice there, a nice, easy, smooth stroke, and boy, just like the preliminary, he's just sailing along twice smoothly there. It looks like he's going to be tough to beat because he's not putting out a lot of energy. It looks like he's going to have a lot left at the finish. We see Mr. Casper up at, in our second lane there, fighting the water quite hard. He may have problems with running out of gas, and you see now, after 50 yards, these three fellows with the two flip turns we see there, Grimditch and, of course, Dwight Stone's the leader, and Dave Casper up there still fighting along, starting to outclass the field, Frank. Okay, it's Dwight Stone's on top, heading for the final turn. Dwight Stone's, Wayne Grimditch, and Dave Casper. It's Dwight Stone's and a beautiful flip turn, and he gets another half length on Wayne Grimditch. Dwight Stone's, Wayne Grimditch, and Dave Casper, as you said, Reggie, starting to struggle. Dwight Stone's is going to win it, just as we thought he would. A beautiful, smooth stroke by Dwight Stone's. Wayne Grimditch, a half length behind, he'll get second. Casper fighting in there for third place. So it's Dwight Stones, Wayne Grimditch, and Dave Casper. And here comes Ben Davidson. He will get fourth place. And Mark Van Egan gets up for fifth place. That's the order of finish in the swimming finals. Dwight Stones is always at the forefront of controversy in the arena of track and field. His personality of intensity on the track matches his sometime fervent flair for the dramatic in all of his actions in the high jump. Recently, Dwight has been the subject of debate surrounding his appearance in the superstars. The subject of an amateur competing for prize money in sports has always been controversial, and a recent newspaper story on Dwight's participation in the superstars reopened the debate about this highly gifted and graceful athlete. Bruce Jenner spent some time talking with Dwight about that very situation. Dwight, there was a recent article that came out in the New York Times stating that the monies that you had earned here at the uh, finals in the Superstars was going to have to go back to the AAU. I'm sure before you came down here, you looked up what the ruling is on this, and uh, what was your opinion at that time? Well, as usual, I don't go into anything without knowing all the facts, because uh, amateur rules are a little bit shady in some areas. You, you can overstep your boundaries. So. I called the Secretary General at the International Amateur Athletic Federation in London on two different occasions to get a real clear uh, knowledge of what was going on. And they told me that they had a council meeting last November and decided that uh, amateur athletes could take part in superstars and uh, that the money earned in superstars could go to the athletes club or to any charity that he wanted to. Who was that at the IAAF? His name is John Holt and he's the Secretary General uh, of the IAAF and uh, he's very much on the side of amateur athletes, track athletes especially. He thinks that. Uh, uh, when we have to compete against Russians and East Germans, uh, et cetera, with their different programs, that uh, uh, amateur track athletes being in superstars is a real uh, come-through, a breakthrough, a progressive 
um, step for the International Amateur Athletic Federation. He was very pleased with how I did in the prelim, and he uh, wished me all the luck in the final. And I asked him on several occasions, are you sure that I can be in it without jeopardizing my amateur status? Because I'd still like to high jump a couple more years. There is another Olympic Games coming up in a couple more years. And uh, does the money go to the governing body, or does it go? can it go to the track club or a charity? He says, absolutely, it can go to your track club. Well, I'm a member of the Desert Oasis Track Club in Palm Springs. It's a bona fide California corporation, and uh, the money, as long as it doesn't go to Dwight Stones, uh, everything should be fine. The ever controversial Dwight Stones. But there was nothing controversial about Dwight Stones win in the swimming competition. It was a decisive victory over Wayne Grimditch, followed by Dave Casper and Ben Davidson and Mark Van Egan. And the standings after two complete events. Dwight Stones, the winner in both of those events, has 20 points. He is off to a great start.